There's only one cutscene in all of Pokemon that uses footage and images from the real world. Do you know what it is? Well, it's in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver games. It's activated by transferring in an Arceus and taking it to the ruins of Alf, where you'll be transported to the Sinjo ruins and eventually meet with the most jarring cutscene in all of Pokemon because it's full of images from the real world. Loads of different pictures show up, but I'm interested in identifying all the images here from space. It isn't as easy as you might think either, thanks to the Nintendo DS quality that this cutscene is shown in, but I think I've done it. So here are all nine of the real world images of space used in the Sinjo Ruins cutscene. First up is an easy object to identify, the Horsehead Nebula. It's hard to tell exactly which telescope took the image, but based on the colors, it's pretty similar to this version I found here. Next up in the cutscene is a pixely reproduction of this Rosette Nebula image followed quickly by this Hubble Space Telescope image of the Ring Nebula, another recognizable image that was quite easy to identify. Fourth is this image of the Orion Nebula, and then we have some images of other real-world locations and objects that aren't in space. So we'll skip straight to photo 28 in the cutscene, which features the core of the globular cluster of stars called 47 Tucanae. We then see the Sun, a low-resolution Andromeda galaxy. The sun again, but this time covered by the moon during a total solar eclipse. And finally, the Earth itself. Specifically, we can see the African continent, and for some reason the image is flipped upside down from how we'd normally see it. It's actually this exact picture of Earth, taken by the last astronauts to ever land on the moon during the Apollo 17 mission. Did you know about this weird cutscene in Pokemon? And do you like it, or do you find it jarring? Let me know in the comments, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.